Welcome back, guys. Today we are going to be hitting shoulders. It is going to be a beautiful push day, and we are just going to absolutely slaughter the shoulders, okay? I have a wedding to go to in two days, and I'm wearing a spaghetti strap dress, which means, you know, I need a good shoulder pump. I'm going to show you ladies who, you know, might not typically work your upper body how to really push pee in the gym. Just push the out of the pee. I actually don't even know what that means. But yeah, we're going to push pee. What is pee? Pussy power. <laughs> Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. We're just gonna absolutely kill it. We're gonna start off with a little bit of a banded warm up. And then this is not going to be your typical, like, ew, oh, 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 ah. Like, no. We are going to absolutely slaughter our muscles. You may think that leg days are hard and intense, and yeah, okay, you're not wrong. However, when it comes to upper body days, your face better be in a freaking O. And by oh, I mean like an orgasm face. Like what? I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. You gotta be like, mm. that's scary. like, oh. that's scary. I am warming up my upper body with some banded stretches. I like to just you know go all around, lube up my shoulders, and change directions. Oh, got my hair there. Having a bad hair day today, but. I am getting my hair straightened tomorrow and I'm so excited. Nothing like getting a silk press in the fall. The curly girls will get it. I also have an energy drink. They were out of the one that I normally drink, so I tried this one. And it's absolutely tasty. Guys, this is my hot girl walk. We're going to crush our bodies. So we're starting off with some shoulder press. This is typically how I like to start free weights and then I move on to the machines. The way I have this seat is actually really important. If you have it straight up, it is actually a lot harder in my opinion. So I have it slanted ever so slightly. And when I say it's easier to have it slanted, I basically just mean that it's like smoother. You know what I mean? Like it just feels more natural than being like straight up and trying to like hoist up like really heavy weight. I like to train my upper body. I find that you get that hourglass shape. And like I said, it makes me look nice in a dress. We're gonna go for 12 reps for the warm up. One, two. That felt good. So I started feeling it around like nine. So that's why I pushed myself to go to 12. We're gonna up the weight and drop the reps. One more. Mm. And we're gonna go heavier. That was 10 reps. We're gonna increase. I already have to pee. Energy drinks and the workouts don't always mix. Cause then you have to pee. And if you're a girl, you know that the worst thing is surgically removing your shorts from your booty hole and then having to pee and put toilet paper all over the seat. It's just a lot of work. We have 35s here. Let's get it. Get up there. Ugh, that's it. Comfy. So what was that? Six? Five? Let's do 40. We got the big dog weights now. Because I'm a big dog and I do big dog shit. It's heavy to grab like that, let alone throw over my shoulders. It's going to take a second here, though. My shoulders are still burning from carrying them over here. We're trying to get big superwoman shoulders, okay? Let's take the cover off for this because I'm describing these shoulders here. I never, okay, like it was recent, like probably back in May, it is now October. It's October 1st or 2nd or whatever. I never would work my upper body consistently. Like I would hit like back days, whatever, like once a week, if that, maybe like once every two weeks, did not hit chest. Like I was working out from home. I literally worked out from home for a year and a half, loved it, but barely hit upper body. And I was scared, but like, I'm so happy that I've started working upper body. I feel so much more feminine and I just have so much more shape to my body since I've been, you know, working and making my shoulders stronger. Don't knock it till you try it. Like I feel so much more beautiful and I actually love my body so much more 
now that I train my upper body. Don't get me wrong, like just skinny is skinny is just as beautiful, but I like to look strong and you got to work your full body. I want to look like a superwoman. Like I want my children to always tell their friends that their mom's so cool and that their mom can beat up their mom. Don't f with me. My mom's gonna beat you up. She's so strong and shit. But I'm not gonna let my kids say shit because that's wrong. Anyway, we have 40 pound dumbbells here. Is it a PR? It's a PR. PR, bitches. Am I nervous? Yeah. First date, kind of nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. That's good. I want another one. I want more. That wasn't what I wanted, but I did it. I'm shaking. Did it count? Was that good? Yeah. Gotta love Gymshark guys, but at any small movement, my boob might pop out because this top just rolls and rolls and rolls. It's cute and I love it for shoulder day because look at this. What is that? How do I do that Riz thing? Look at these shits. Mm, 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 mm. It's cute because like you can see your shoulders, but this is, is. Okay. or IP respectfully yeah I was trying to do that the riz you can't keep that part in the video I didn't know what it was called so we're only doing one chest exercise which is the pec deck we are here Okay, that was like not a very intense exercise. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna step up the weight. The goal is to squeeze your pecs together. So like pretend that you have like a lip gloss or something between your boobs and try to make it stay in place. I'm gonna do two more sets here. And then we're gonna move on to lateral raises. Up the weight a bit, five pounds, like this. Yeah, that's better. Feel it more? Yeah. My cameraman is also my personal trainer. <sighs> Gotta get a booby pump for my dress this weekend. It's boobalicious. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna do another set. I'm feeling it. Are you gonna massage my titties later? <laughs> That's it. We're gonna do some lateral raises. Probably one of my all-time favorite shoulder exercises. I just feel so strong and like muscular and like a little masculine when I do that exercise, but like in a good way. Like a feminine, masculine, sexy, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like a boss ass bitch when I do lateral raises. Like it's like girl boss, but I'm like a man. Like I have the power of a man, but like the eyes of a woman. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like Catwoman or like any female superhero. They all have like this little like masculinity to them, but at the same time they're like sleek and like they move smooth, you know? Strong is sexy. All right. Sorry, somebody told me that I make monkey faces when I pose. So I'm gonna try to not do that. Start to smile instead, like fears. Fears. fears? <laughs> My first instinct was to go. I know. I know. It's a weird thing. To do. There, you look fire. Like you look amazing. Strong. Strong. Super strong. Thank you. This is what I like to do, ladies and gents. You can do this too. I like to start with a heavier weight and drop set. So we are starting with 12.5s. I'm gonna go until I wanna stop, and then I'm gonna pick up the smaller weights. Bonito. 
that shit made me turn Spanish. <laughs> ah, that was a good set. Now we're gonna do that again. Two more times. I'm not counting. Just push yourself. So basically failure, right? Basically to failure both times. Just like okay. torturing my shoulders. But yeah, that's how you see growth. And I hate that I have to keep saying this, but I don't mean growth as in man shoulders. Like you will never get man shoulders. You don't have testosterone the way men do. You're just not a man. You're not taking steroids. It's just not in your genetic makeup as a female to look like a dude. Okay. Take it or leave it. I'm going to work my shoulders and look hot as full. I suggest you do the same. Hot chocolate Cinderella. All right, this is hard. My shoulders still feel numb. Same thing, but better. shitty but that was good Sneaky cute, like, I'll step outside as a mom. Like, this is gonna be me, you know? Like, I go to pick my kids up from school, I get out of the car, I'm wearing a dress, and I just go like this, like, wow. Oh, the sun is so bright. Ooh. Low key flex. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, wow, that's my, that's the cool mom. And then I'm gonna walk over, and my child's gonna be like, yeah, look at my mom. <laughs> a little sassy child I'm gonna have. And then, like, the little kid's gonna run up to me and be like, please don't hurt me. And I'm gonna be like, you talking smack to my kid? And then they're gonna be like, no, please. And I'm gonna be like, okay, fine, I won't. Just, just be nice, kid. I won't beat That's up your the, mom. I won't, I won't beat up your mom. Unless. No, I would never. I've never been in a fight, and that's not what we train for, guys. We train, well, who am I kidding? Yeah, if I have to kick somebody's ass, I'm kicking ass, but I've never had to. I can't even lie to the camera. Knock a bitch. Last exercise, we're hitting our triceps. Do not come for me, ladies, with the whole, I just worked my whole upper body from like all those exercises. I don't need to, I, I don't want to isolate my biceps or my triceps. I hear that so often and it makes me sick. Work your freaking arms, because then five years from now, you're gonna be complaining about like, oh, I wanna, I wanna get rid of like this fat here. Like, what do I do? And it's like, dude, you literally just need to resistance train your arms. Get with it, okay? So we are gonna hit our triceps. There we go. One, two. I want my triceps to pop when I'm reaching across the table for the salt and pepper at Thanksgiving next weekend. <laughs> Canadian Thanksgiving. As many reps as possible. That's what we're going for here. Okay, yeah. Mm. Then you grab yourself and you give yourself a big hug from all that hard work you had going on there. My triceps are burning. That's what we want. Is that it? Am I doing it? Wait, I'm supposed to smile. Yeah. to like stand on my tippy toes. It's like, oh, I went to failure. Yeah, success. <laughs> Fan. 
fan, he a fan, he a fan. Bitch, she leave, cause she keep the pee. Private sweet, private C. Bitch, I'm pushing P. We're done today's workout. And I just wanted to take a moment to really chat with you guys. Just freaking vent. Gotta get comfortable for this one. I always wanted to like do something creative. Growing up, I thought I wanted to be a model. That didn't work out for me. Believe it or not, I did apply to some modeling agencies. They didn't want me. I started YouTube too and it didn't work out for me. So I was like, oh, whatever. Like YouTube's never gonna work. Modeling's never gonna work. I'm gonna be like 40 years old and always just be like, ah, oh, in another lifetime. Or like maybe I can get my kids to do it and like push them to do my dreams and what I always wanted to do. Instead, I got my real estate license. That was me failing. Getting my real estate license was me giving up on my actual dream to be a model, to be in front of the camera, to like do what I really love and what I'm passionate about. I didn't do anything with my real estate license now because I quit <laughs> my brokerage and I decided to pursue social media full time. I want to do what I'm most passionate about. I love to make people laugh. I love to preach what I'm most passionate about, which is fitness and health and living long, fulfilling, beautiful lives and just like not taking life too seriously. And that's what I'm doing. And there's definitely been people who have thrown doubt my way or like I've lost a lot of friends. None of my friends reach out. And if you're watching this, yeah, I'm talking about you. None of my friends reached out when they saw me post, start posting. I don't know what to say, but it's been paying off. And there's been signs all around me that I'm making the right choices in my life. My husband is also doing everything with me. Like we are just a full team and it's been so fulfilling and so much fun. And like, I don't even pay attention to what day it is anymore. And it's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I don't have to worry about what day it is because I'm my own boss technically, you know. Moral of the story is life is short, okay? And it's not like, I'm not saying that to scare you, but life is short. So like, why the hell aren't you doing what you want to do? Like, is it because your parents told you like, this is the career for you? Because your teachers told you like, oh, this is what you should do. Or like, this is how, what you should be or whatever. At the end of the day, like, what do you want to do? And who do you want to be? And what's stopping you? Is it like money? If you have to work twice as hard because money is an issue, then fuck it, work twice as hard. Follow your dreams, chase your dreams. You've heard it a million times. You've heard everyone say it. Disney Channel preaches it, chase your dreams. But like, just never think that you are not enough or that you won't reach your goals because you will. And like, that is the path that you're supposed to be on. Like we all go off path because we listen to what everyone else wants us to do and who our parents want us to be. If I wanted to be who my parents wanted me to be, I would have been in the WNBA making no money and then becoming a teacher and teaching gym class. I hated my gym teachers. Why would I want to be a gym teacher? Oh, my parents thought I'd be a good gym teacher because I like gym. <laughs> like, wow, like nothing against gym teachers. I didn't like my gym teachers though. If you're seeing this, I'm sorry, but I'm, I hope you're a better teacher now. Yeah, my gym teachers actually were pretty shitty. There were probably people in my life that, except for one, I had an elementary school gym teacher. If you're watching this, I fucking love you. You're the best. But yeah, my high school gym teachers literally made me feel like shit. Made me feel like I wasn't capable of doing anything except for playing sports. They literally said that at one point. Stick to sports, you know? Stick to what you're good at. Anyway, teachers need to do better. As the great Hannah Montana once said, life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Make it, so let's make it